these people appeared. In the center of them, I saw a man with a white cape, and he had kind of a peaceful look on his face, which looked peaceful, and mm -hmm. it was blurry kind of. And then, at first, I meant it as a wizard, but then as he started to talk, I realized that was God because of the way he was talking. And how, how so? How was he talking to you? Just like um, the knowledge in his voice, like struggle to live and you will live and return to earth. And, mm -hmm. and how was he talking to you? Just like, um, just not as like, he wasn't like higher or lower than me, he was like talking to me as a friend kind of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could you hear his voice or, you know? I didn't see his face moving, I just heard the voice. Oh, is that right? You just yeah. kind of heard it. Mm -hmm. Did did it, did you hear it like like you hear me talking now, or was it different than that? It was, yeah, it was the same way. It was the same way. It's like you heard his voice, but didn't really see his face. But what is God anyway? Well, he's the one that died on the cross for us. He was this the same God then? Is that? Is it? That was your your feeling, and where do you think the image of the wizard comes from? Just um, I think the cape, like the white mm -hmm. robe he was wearing, and at first I thought it was like yeah. Wizard. Have you ever been involved in like Dungeons and Dragons, or in you know, is a wizard meaningful at all to you in in your life? Well, not a wizard, but when I realized it was God, yeah. Well, <laughs> that I understand. 